Hi guys, this is Valesa from A Light Refurbish, and in this week's video, we're going to be using milk paint, which is a non-toxic paint that you mix yourself. We're going to be using it on this beautiful antique dresser. Remember to subscribe and to turn the notifications on so that you don't miss out on what I do next. So if you want to see this makeover, keep watching. Today we're going to give this tall boy antique dresser a makeover. Isn't he so handsome? It does need a lot of love though. Some of the veneer on the drawers is barely hanging in there and the veneer on the bottom drawer is completely off and it's shrunk in size. Don't ask me how that happened, but it's shrunk. A chunk part of the leg is missing and then we have this crocodile texture all throughout. But today it's getting a makeover and I think it's a perfect candidate for Shacto Interiors Milk Paint, which is today's sponsor. I have been using this paint for the last two years, so I was super excited when they reached out. Uh, we're gonna start by removing all the hardware and flattening and softening this wood veneer by spraying a surface, laying our veneer on top of that and getting the veneer itself wet also putting a board on top of it to keep it flat and we're going to be securing it with some clamps in hopes that tomorrow it'll be ready to glue back on. Wood is always going to contract or expand depending on its environment so we are hoping that we can expand this veneer just a tiny bit so that it will fit our drawer perfectly. To glue our veneer back on, we're going to be using this contact cement and we are going to be applying this product with a roller. Keep in mind that you need to apply the cement on the veneer, but also the surface where it's going to be glued into. You let this product sit for a few minutes before sitting the veneer in place. Now for the rest of the drawers that have veneer attached, but is barely there, we are going to be using some tie bond glue to secure them in and basically we're going to be doing the same thing we're going to be using a board and clamping that veneer in place we're using a steering stick to push the glue all the way in and distribute it evenly we're going to be letting the glue sit and dry overnight Now that the veneer is glued, we can start sanding the entire dresser. I'm going to be staining the top of it, so I will be sanding that top to bare wood and the rest of it is getting a really good sanding with 120 grit to get rid of that crocodile texture. I love using these hand grips for areas that are hard to get into. It just makes it a lot easier. To repair that big gouge that was missing on this leg, I used my regular wood filler and just sand it to the shape of the leg and it turned out pretty good. I was pretty proud about it and continue to sand and clean the rest of my piece and at the same time inspecting it to see if there are any more repairs that need to be made. I am hoping there are no more because we've done plenty of them, but you never know. And yes, I decided to use my hose with this piece. There were some areas that needed a really good cleaning. They tell you not to suck the wood, that that's bad, but there are exceptions to this rule, believe me. Thankfully, we were having a gorgeous day, so my piece dried really quick. While I was cleaning, I noticed that this detail was coming up, so I just used my nail gun and secured it back in place. And since everything was upside down, I took advantage of it and worked on the legs. Today, I'm using this beautiful Blue Moon color from Shacto Interiors Powder Milk Paint. It's a solvent-free, VOC-free paint. You mix equal parts of powder to water and mix it, let it sit for a few minutes and it's ready to use. The reason why I chose Shacto Interiors Milk Paint is because this paint crackles or chips. It's known as chippy paint. They do have a bonding agent that you can add to the paint if you don't want any crackling or chipping 
but for these bees I am going for that rustic vibe so I am hoping that I get quite a bit of chippy. You never know how much chippy you're gonna get which makes using these paints so thrilling for me. To stain the top, I'm using this antique walnut gel stain from General Finishes, which is the same stain I use for the legs. This gel stain is thicker than your regular oil stains, which I really like because it's not as messy. And then what I do is I just wipe it off right away so that even though this is an oil product, I'll be able to top coat it tomorrow with a water-based polyurethane. Now it's time to see how much chippy I got on this piece. I told you this is the most thrilling part about using Shacto Interiors milk paint. And I didn't get much chippy on this, but you're gonna see some of it right here. There it is. Since I want my dresser to have more of a rustic look than it has right now, I am gonna be using my soft prep sanding to sand the edges on my drawers and sand all the details to help them stand out. Now that I'm done sanding, I can start wiping all the dust off and have this dresser ready for top coat. And I'm going to be using Stracto Interiors Furniture Wax, which is made with beeswax, coconut oil, flax oil, essential oil, is chemical and petroleum free, naturally non-toxic. Check out how much richer these paint color looks after you apply the wax. I like to let my wax sit on my paint for about 15 minutes before I grab a clean cloth and start buffing it. Buffing it will even out your sheen and you can reapply it as needed to maintain luster. To protect the top of my dresser, I'm using this high performance flat top coat with a foam brush. I apply a total of three coats. And finally, to restore the inside of my drawers that were looking pretty sad and dry, I use some steel wool with this restore finish. The steel wool will open the wood grains just a little bit to allow the restorative finish to penetrate and condition the wood. And here it is. I love this Blue Moon color from Shacto Interiors. I've been using this color for a couple of years and some of my customers have come back to ask me to paint more pieces for them with this color. But check out the little bit of chipping, a little bit of distressing on all the details. I just think it adds so much character to this piece that's already full of charm. You will notice color variations with this paint, which again, it adds to that rustic look that I absolutely love. The crocodile texture is gone and now we have a sleek looking top and dresser. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy it. I will see you again next week with a new video. And don't forget that just like there's hope for these pieces of furniture, doesn't matter how bad things get, there's always hope for you. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.